Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over navigation for the F86. So the F86 has a couple different things for navigation. It has the kneeboard here, it has the regular compass up here, it has the gyroscope compass, and it has the radio compass. So I'll go over the kneeboard first. So to open the kneeboard you hold right shift and click K. And you can use these arrows at the bottom to scroll through the different maps. So you might see some purple circles. If, you, if the mission creator uh, put any waypoints into the mission, then they will show up as purple circles on your kneeboard. You can also hold right control and click K, and you can see it put down a little arrow which shows where you are and where you're, uh, where you're flying. And you can hold right, right shift and K again to close the kneeboard. All right, so next is the regular compass. It's the one up here. This is basically just a regular magnetic compass. Keep in mind, it's a little bit slow. If you get into a bank and turn, it does not give accurate readings while you're turning. You gotta level the plane out first, and then you gotta wait for the compass to readjust. And you can see it's readjusting now. All right, so next is a gyroscopic compass. So this, gyros this compass is different because it doesn't use a magnet, it uses a gyroscope. So the cool thing is that it works while you're turning. So you can see, while I turn, the needle moves to show me where I'm going. And if I stop turning, then the needle stays there. So according to my gyroscope, I should be going around 330 degrees right now. And if I click on my plane, and it says 332 degrees. Now the problem with the gyroscope is that over time it can become misaligned, and you've got to realign, you've got to align it back up with the magnet. So every once in a while, or if you notice that it's not, it's not showing you the right direction, you hold the compass slave button, and it will realign the uh, pointer to where you're actually flying with the compass. If you do not want to do the fast slave button, but if you want to kind of fine tune it instead, then you can use this little circle here to fine tune it. All right, so last is the radio compass. You use the radio compass together with this big panel right here. So let me explain the radio compass. So all around the map, there are all these little black circles here, 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 here. These are called NDBs, and these are radio stations that constantly emit uh, Morse code. And you can use them to help you find where you're going. So each black circle has its own frequency, and you can tune into the frequency and the radio compass will point you where to go. So let me show you how to use it now. So first you gotta find the black circle you wanna fly to. Let's just fly to this one over here, Sakumi. And you can see, unfortunately the number is very small so it's hard to read. So I gotta zoom in on my computer. But for me it says 489 kilohertz. So you gotta remember that number, 489. And you gotta come over to your panel here. So you come over and you switch this to compass, which is on. And you got to find the band that your frequency is in. So you can see this is from 100 kilohertz to 200, 210 to 4, or 200 to 410, 410 to 850, and 850 to 1750. So what, what was mine? Yeah, mine was 489. So I got to find where 489 would be, which is this one here, 410 to 850. So once you're in the right band, then you gotta tune it. So what you do is you use this lever here to tune it to 489. Now, whenever the radio um, system picks up a frequency, you'll see this little small gauge up here will jump up. So you can see that jumped up, that means I'm picking up to something. So I gotta find 489. So unfortunately, it's a little bit hard to dial it in exactly because this wheel doesn't give very many numbers, you gotta kinda guess. So if this is 410 and this is 520, then this middle is probably around 450, 460, something like that. So I gotta go a little bit past this middle line. So you can see it jumped up there, so that should be the right um, channel, the right frequency. So whenever you got the frequency dialed in, the radio compass will point to where you need to fly. Now the radio compass is pointing behind me to the, my right and the station I'm tuning into 489 is up to my left. So obviously, so obviously I'm not right. So I need to probably tune a little bit past this. So 
So maybe it's this one now. All right, so you can see the radio compass just changed. Now it's pointing up to my left. So I'm guessing that um, I have it set right now. So what you do then is you just uh, move your, if the needle's off to the left, you gotta fly your plane to the left and you wanna center out that needle on the zero. So if everything's right, I got the needle pretty much on zero. I should be flying about towards Sakumi right now. And if I check with my compass, it looks like I am pretty much flying to Sakumi. All right, so I'm getting near Sakumi and you can see I'm about to fly over the station. And whenever I fly over it, this thing should flip around. So let's see what happens. All right, you can see it's already turning. And you can see I just flew past the radio station and now it's pointing backwards. So just a couple more notes for the radio compass. There's a volume knob right here. If you turn it up, then you can actually hear the Morse code playing. There's a lighting switch right here. You can turn the low brightness or high brightness, which is useful at, at nighttime, obviously. There's another switch here uh, for voice and continuous wave. I would just leave it down for voice. I don't know what CW does, um, but I would just leave it to voice. And lastly, the other selectors for the power switch. So in DCS, I would just use off and comp. If you put it to antenna mode, I don't know what that does, but I don't think it does anything in DCS. If you put it on loop, on loop mode, it allows you to um, manually change the direction of the antenna in your plane using this switch here. So you can manually turn your antenna left or right. And you can see if I manually turn the antenna, it turns our radio compass. But if you put this switch back to comp, then the radio compass goes back to normal. I don't really know what loop mode is for, but it's there if you want it. And the last mode over here, continuous, as far as I know, it doesn't do anything. So in DCS, the only ones you're really gonna use is off and comp. That was navigation for the F-86. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you later.